No, I can. All's good. Oh. Oh my god, look at that chalk. Although if he was wearing a... Um... His costume, then that makes sense. October 16th, Studio One. What is it? She, is she sad because she's just realized that someone died here? You're real quiet all of a sudden. Doesn't it give you the shivers, Nick? That white tape, it's so, so real. Well, the evil magistrate did die here. And the steel samurai killed him. The murder weapon was a samurai spear, sounds pretty real to me. Okay, now I can examine everything. Oh my god, it's in a, a director's chair! <gasps> a real one! Hey look, that's the chair the director sits in. I've always wanted to sit in one of these. Hey Nick, take a look at that. One of those black and white boards they clamp at the start of filming. And look, a megaphone! A real life megaphone! Ready Nick? Action! This girl is more troubled than I thought. Yeah, she is. Right, what else could I look at? Camera equipment? I mean, I need to look at the chalked out body, obviously. Oh, look at that camera. That must cost a ton. Yeah, so don't touch it. Oh, it's heavier than I thought. Hey you, no touching that. Who the hell are you? Uh, um, sorry, my partner is kind of, you know. You know? No, I don't know. She's a big fan. Who are you? Who, me? I'm an assistant here. Penny. I help with props and stuff, moving them around, ordering new ones, etc. We're lawyers representing Mr. Willpowers. Oh, you're WP's people. WP? Oh, Will Powers. WP, I get it. I don't envy you guys one bit. But do what you can for WP, okay? He'd never hurt a fly, he has to be innocent. Don't worry, leave it to us. I mean, I can actually talk to her, which is nice. Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. Examine. They outlined where Jack Hammer's body lay with tape. His body was found still inside the evil magistrate costume. I guess that's why the head part looks like a helmet. Funny, I expected a spear stabbing would leave at least a few blood, blood stains. Ah. I guess the costume must have absorbed most of it. It must have absorbed more than a bit. God. I can't examine that. Is that another backdrop? Wow, well, look at that camera. No! <laughs> I did not want to do that. I wanted to look at the backdrop. It looks like a backdrop for a stage. This must be used in the Seal Samurai show. Of course. That's the mountain. Neo Fujiyama. Doesn't the Seal Samurai take place in old Tokyo? Can you even see Mount Fuji from there? Not old Tokyo, Nick. Neo old Tokyo. Oh, right. Of course. Can I talk to you? The day of the crime. Did you tell me anything about the day of the murder? Yes, I was in the studio the whole day. I was the only assistant on staff that day, you see. Only one assistant? Yes, well, the studios aren't doing so well right now. And yesterday was only rehearsal for our action sequences. I see. Neat. In the morning, we went through the action sequences in the employee area. WP and Hammer were there, along with everyone else. The employee area. That's where Power's dressing room is, right? Yeah, that's the place. After eating lunch there, Mr. Hammer went to Studio One. Then I saw WP go into his dressing room. But I didn't see either of them after that. Crap. That doesn't really help. All that much. Did you know that Mr. Powers was sleeping in his room? No, I wouldn't go in there unless I had some urgent message for him. I mean, it's his private... What kind of a girl do you think I am? But what kind? No, no. I'm sure you're a fine girl. Uh, sorry. So much for getting a confirmation of Powers' alibi. What do we do, Nick? We haven't found anything. If WP was the only one who came to the studio, then he has to be the killer. They even have a photograph. Hmm. Um, sorry. I know you're busy. Not really. Actually, there's been something bothering me. Aha! That's what I'm talking about. A clue. A lead. Well, I don't know about that, but that day, just after noon, I sensed someone was here. You sensed? Yeah, several times. Some other studio employees, maybe. 
No, I don't think so. The only thing we had scheduled was an action scene run-through. I was the only assistant here that day. I have a feeling it was someone from outside. Really? But wait, if someone had come in here, wouldn't that security lady have noticed them? Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry I don't have any better information than that. No, thanks. That helps us a lot. Anything helps. Let's go put that security lady on the spot. Yeah! Screw that. Oh, sensing someone. Doo doo. Doo doo. So you sense that someone other than the regular film crew was in the studio? Yes, I think. I think doesn't cut it in a witness testimony. Nick, what about that security lady? If someone else came into the studio, she must have seen them. True. So I guess we can move back. Outside studio! Right, so now we can move to the main gate. Oh yeah. And now we can grill Old Bag. Ah, here we go. October 16th, Global Studios, main gate. What, you're still here? Really, you look as though you've seen a ghost. So can I talk to her about it? Ah, oh, assistance claim. Here we go. What? I saw that suspicious look on your face. I wanted to ask you again about yesterday. You came here at 1pm, correct? And the estimated time of Hammer's death was 1 th at 2.30. Are you sure that Powers was the only one to go through here between those times? Sure as can be. Well, we have a witness who thinks there was someone from outside here that day. What? Are you absolutely sure you were here watching the whole time? Ma'am? Who was it? Who told you that? Who dares question me? Oh dear. Right, you better tell me in quick, you spicy, <laughs> spiky head cretin. Not gonna lie, when I saw... <laughs> oh my god. When I saw Spiky Head, the only thing I saw was a C and a T in the fourth position. I thought she called him as something else, and I was like, that definitely couldn't have happened. This game would not have gotten a T <laughs> written otherwise. Alright, Spiky Head, cretin. Not see you next Tuesday. Someone's been complaining about the work I do, eh? Um, we were just talking to the assistant in Studio One. Her? She's not even a full-time employee. All you young'uns are like that nowadays, running your mouths like there was no tomorrow saying this and that. Oh my god. Ah, we set her off. I really wish you ha she had her, like... She left. Oh, <gasps> I can look at her computer. Nice. Well, Nick. This is our chance to do what we can without her looking over our shoulders. Yeah, I think when it comes to Old Bag when she goes on her rants, I can't read them. I would try, and I would fail. I can guarantee that, because... She speaks so fucking fast. That's the point, I suppose. Even in the show, she just... Oh god, she talks so quick. The computer that runs the studio's... Security cameras. Nick? Maybe we can see that photo of powers with this computer. Yeah, maybe. Shall I try the computer? Try it. Okay, let's give it a try. You know how to work these things, Nick. Looks like I just have to enter in a few numbers. Let's see. First, I need the date of the murder. Looks like the camera turned on at 1pm that day. 1? That was when the security lady arrived, arrived at the guard station. Please enter the number of the security camera. Oh god. ST1307, I think. There, entered. Hey, it printed out the data for that day. Let's see what we got. Wait, that's decisive proof. Are you shitting me? Somebody in a costume. Oh my god. Huh? How is this a picture of Will Powers? Well, he is the the one who always wears that suit. I guess that's why the security lady thought it was him. I don't imagine the detective was very happy with this photo's evidence. Hmm? Something's printed on the back. Huh? October 15... 2pm, photo number 2. What does that mean? It means there's another photo. Maybe there's more photo data from that day. Nope, that's the only one in the computer. <laughs> Powers? Photo added to the cart record. Hey, hey, Nick. We can't use this photo as evidence for the trial. Oh, can't we use? God, I can't read. Yeah. We'll put that security lady in her place with this. Right, we'll put her in her place. Hey, that's what I said. Anyway. Let's show her this photo and see what she says. Wait, let's not. Why not? 
It's never a good idea to reveal your hand to the enemy too soon. Nick, you're craftier than I gave you credit for. Why, you could be the next evil magistrate. Hey, why do I have to be the villain? Relax, it was just a joke. So, are we done for today? I think this photo is what we needed for the trial. Hmm. Still, it'd be better if we had some idea who the real killer was. Maybe it really is that security lady. I doubt it. To be continued! God, that took 40 fucking minutes. Hot damn! Keep forgetting that the trials in this game take a long time. Do I want to save? Yeah, I do. October 18th, 10 a.m., District Court, courtroom number four. Oh my god, I've got the hiccups. Oi, 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 oi. I love this song. It's just so good. The court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Very well. Mr. Edgeworth, your opening statement, please. The prosecution will show the court that at 2.30pm on October 15th, the defendant, Mr. Will Powers, killed fellow actor Jack Hammer at Studio One of Global Studios. It is impossible for anyone else to have committed this heinous crime. The evidence presented during the trial will all point to this fact. Hmm. I see. Very well. I would like to move on to your testimony. Mr. Edgeworth, the prosecution may call its first witness. First, I would like to call a familiar face, Detective Gumshoe, to the stand. Great. How much of his crap's gonna be out of order? Or oh, wrong, more so. Detective, if you would briefly describe this case at the court. Yes, sir. I'll explain with the guide map here. To understand this case, it's important to grasp the layout of the studio, see? This here is the employee area. The actors did a run through of their action sequen uh, scenes during the morning here. This is the main gate to the studios. The security lady that works at the studio was here at 1pm on that day. Past the security station, there is a gate, see? Ah, I see. Past that are the studios, so the gate is what has the camera. Okay. And here it is, Studio One. This is the scene of the murder where the body was found. Now, on the day of the murder, October 15th, there were only three people here. The victim, Jack Hammer, the defendant, Will Powers, and a young woman, the production assistant. All the production staff were in the employee area until noon. So there's the victim. Then after lunch, the victim, Jack Hammer, went to Studio One. Right after that, at 1pm, the security lady got to the guard station, now jump ahead to later that day, 5pm, the production staff came to Studio One to perform a rehearsal. Needless to say, the rehearsal was cancelled. The time of death was 2.30pm. The samurai spear found lodged in the victim's chest was the murder weapon. And that's the case, in brief. Anyone like to hear that again? Hmm, should I listen to that whole thing again? No, skip. I think I can probably remember that. So the murder weapon was a spear? How medieval. Samurai spear added to the court record. Your Honor, this case is quite simple if you ask one question. And that question is, what did the security lady at the guard station see? Understood. Let's call the security officer to the stand. All right. Will the witness declare her name? Ah, oh, fuck's sake. Hmm? My, aren't you a handsome fellow? I'm afraid I'm a bit flustered. <laughs> y your name, please. Oh, dearie. No need for you to be embarrassed. Just call me Grandma. Your name, please. Seems Edgeworth has a bit of trouble getting his witnesses to say their names. Wendy Oldbag, dearie. So just call me- oh my god. Uh. <laughs> Objection. I object to the witness's talkativeness. Objection sustained. The witness will refrain from rambling on the stand. I'll just get into the good part, dearie. Perhaps we can get to the testimony? Now, the witness was stationed at the main gate on the day of the murder, correct? Yes, A, I was. Or yes, E. 
And to get to the scene of the murder, someone would have to pass by you. You know your stuff, dearie. You may begin your testimony. She sure is one hell of an old bag. Ha <laughs> ha. Witnesses account. On the day of the murder, I arrived at the guard station at 1pm. Poor old Hammer and the rest had been doing a run through there since the morning. I, well, I had some errands to run that morning. Anyway, it was 1 p.m. when I got to the guard station. I was at the main gate from then until 5 p.m. Now, the murder happened at 2.30 p.m., right? Interesting to me, because a certain man walked right by me at 2 p.m. It was Powers, that man right there, and he was heading towards the studio. Okay. You saw the defendant, then? Hmm, very well. Let's begin the cross-examin- Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor. And so begins pressing everything. I really would like to try the, the pressing thing, but I don't think it'll work. Did you have to say, hold it? But it don't work. <laughs> hold it! Yeah, whatever. Press! I mean, I might as well press everything. Hold it! So up until that time, anyone who wanted to go, or wanted to, could go into the studio. Well, there wasn't a security guard at the gate, no. But the main gate was locked, dearie. You'd need an employee card key to get in. I still f hate the fact it's called a card key and not a key card. Right, the, key, the card key that I have. So what she's saying is no one who wasn't supposed to be in, to be there could get in. Was there anyone at the studios when you arrived at the guard station? Poor old Hammer and the rest have been doing a run through. Yep. A run through? They were working out a scene between the Steel Samurai and the Evil Magistrate. They got the basics figured out by noon and were to use the afternoon for practice. Rehearsal was supposed to start at 5 p.m. That's why poor old Hammer went to Studio One in the afternoon. So Powers was in his dressing room sleeping when he was supposed to be practicing. Talk about a laid back hero. If there was a run-through in the morning, why did you only get there after afternoon? Okay. She had some errands. What kind of errands? Oh, well, you know. Answer the question. Actually, I was watching Paul Hammer and Powers. Observing, you know? The observing? Weren't you supposed to be at the guard station? Whippersnapper, I told you I locked the gate, didn't I? It, it, I did my job. I'm not sure your boss would see it that way. Anyway. I always watch Hammer's run-throughs. Always. Never miss one in all my years. Wow. I want to see a Steel Samurai run-through too. You could quit being a spirit medium and take up guard duty. Not a bad idea. <laughs> I was kidding. <laughs> Are you sure? Did you see the victim then? Did I see poor old Hammer? Nope. He'd already gone to the studio before I got back to the guard station. Tell us what happened next. At the main gate from then until 5. So you were watching there the whole time? No breaks? Not even a second? Uh, of course! I am a professional, you know. Or are you criticizing how I did my job, whippersnapper? No, it's just after seeing you eating those donuts in the guard station yesterday, I can watch the gate and eat donuts at the same time. <laughs> Sniffer whapper! Sniffer whapper. Old windbag is losing it, Nick. Why don't you raise an objection? So the witness was on duty through the afternoon the whole time. Very well. What did you see? Now the murder happened at 2.30, right? <laughs> Hold it! How did you know that? Ho oh, ho ho, I have my ways. The overdressed young detective told me. I fed him some donuts and he talked and talked. If you ask me, that detective isn't cut out for his job. Poor oh, Detective Gumshoe getting cheered out by a security guard. Oh my god. Interesting to me because certain men- okay. Two, you're sure? Sure as spit. Well, who was the man? Really, you should try not to get so excited at your age. You might strain something. No, no, don't get your skivvies and all in a bunch. I'll tell you who it was. Okay. So you saw Mr. Powers? Ah, God. Had an itch. That's what I said. Got wax in your ears, Sonny? Nick, this is this is your chance. Yeah, time to pull out the secret weapon. 
I'll say it again. It was him. It was Powers. That man right there and he was heading towards the studio. I call bullshit. Da 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 da. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bullshit. Uh, objection, I mean. Let me get this straight, old bag. Uh, <laughs> uh, miss, old bag. You've been saying since yesterday that you saw Mr. Powers, correct? But you're talking about the man in... But you're talking about the man in this photo, aren't you? D just a moment, Mr. Wright. Let me see that photo. What is this, exactly? Nothing other than the Steel Samurai, defender of near old Tokyo. Miss Oldbag. Is this the Mr. Powers that you saw? Of course. Didn't your mama teach you any sense, Sonny? Anyone can plainly see that's Powers, right? Uh, yeah. Even Edward is like, you fucking idiot. Um, well, I wonder. True, Mr. Powers does play the role of the Steel Samurai. But, that doesn't mean Mr. Powers is the Steel Samurai. Oh man, look at that face. Yeah, I know that, I wasn't born yesterday. No one in this court is accusing you of that, uh... Not of that, Miss, uh, Witness. She's having trouble calling her old bag, apparently. However, you do not have proof that the person in this photo is Mr. Will Powers, do you? Maybe he's the boy from, like, the school years that called her old hag? Oh, maybe. And that's why he doesn't want to say a name. I doubt it, but that'd be funny. Nosy old man. Of course I have proof. <laughs> what? Huh? <laughs> Even Edward is surprised. The prosecution would like to ask the old, the witness. Please make known all the information in your possession ahead of time. How's I to know everyone would be so nosy? You should be ashamed, all of you. Anyway, I showed that photo to the young detective. He told me this isn't No, oh, this isn't any good as evidence, pal. He didn't even give it a second look. Well, old windbag. <laughs> Has left even Edgeworth speechless. She's good. Let's hear about your proof then. Right, so it's another witness testimony. Alright, the man in the photo. The man in the mirror. I never say anything I don't mean, mind you. That morning... Oh god. Ooh, pardon me. That morning during the run through of the action scene, I saw Powers trip and fall. He broke one of the props. It was a big mess. Apparently he sprained his ankle pretty bad. Now look at that picture. You can see that he's dragging his leg, see? Clear as day. That's how I knew it was Powers. Happy? Hmm. Hmm. So he had a sprain he had sprained his ankle. Very well, Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. She's got to be hiding something. I'll press her until she squeals. You yeah, got it. Alright, so... Never say anything I don't mean, mind you. Can't say pressing that. That morning during the run-through of the action scene. Fuck it, I'll just press everything. Sod it. Hold it! Um... Whippersnapper! Hey, I haven't said anything yet. I'll have you know I'm not pointing fingers at anyone behind their backs. Everything I've said is on the straight and narrow, the up and up. Youth today always whining about each other, pointing fingers- oh my god. Mr. Wright, please for all our sakes try not to upset the witness. I think Edris has, has met his match. The morning during the run through of the action scene. Who was present at the run through? Well, let's see. There was Powers, his he's the Steel Samurai, then poor old Hammer, the evil magistrate, and me. And what exactly were you doing? Observing. Just observing. What about the assistant? Oh, she was off moving backdrops around and such. So she didn't see the run-through then. Interesting. I saw Powers trip and fall. Trip and fall? Yes, and to think he's supposed to be the Steel sam Samurai. What a laugh. So Powers sprained his ankle. I helped make it better for him, of course. You helped make it better? I kissed it where it hurt. Let's just skip over that part, shall we? 
Where was the assistant then? Oh, her? She was cleaning up backdrops, I think. She didn't know about Powers' ankle. Hmm. Let me continue your testimony. He broke one of the props, it was a big mess. He broke a prop? Sure did. His own samurai spear. His samurai spear, the murder weapon? Luckily I was there with my duct tape to fix it. This strikes me as a significant detail. How the fuck would that be able to pierce flesh? And a costume, if it was bust. Hmm, I better write this down in the court record. Samurai Spear has been updated because it's been broken. Or repaired, I guess. Apparently he sprained his ankle pretty bad. <laughs> Hold it! Was Mr. Power's ankle badly sprained? Not so bad that he couldn't walk around. He went to his dressing room to rest up after lunch. Thus the net. Anyway, I saw him dragging his foot when he walked. Dragging his foot, okay. Think we've heard enough. Haven't we, Your Honor? Well, there is one thing that bothers me. Which is... Where is this Steel Samurai costume now? Uh, hmm. Actually, well, we couldn't find it. We're looking, though. Hmm. Anyway, that's not important. The witness did see the Steel Samurai, yes? And it is clear that the person in the Seal Samurai costume... Uh, Seal Samurai suit was Mr. Will Powers. Hmm. I suppose that's right. Are you sure you're sure, Your Honor? Object. Hold it right there, criminal scum. We keep talking possibilities, but we have to agree that this photo shows the Seal Samurai. Nowhere in this photo can we see Mr. Will Powers. Hmm. The defense has a point. I also wonder if someone else not caught on camera could have been could have killed Mr. Hammer. We have to consider that possibility also. It's a ho 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 ho. Then allow me to remove that doubt from your mind, Your Honor. Will the witness continue her testimony, please? No need to ask twice. Woo! Alright. Cunt. The time of Paul Hammer's death was 2.30 p.m., true? So, the only person I saw to the go to the studio before th then was Will Powers. No one else went there. If they had, I would have seen them. Okay. Hmm. So if no one else went to the studio, then it would have to be this Steel Samurai who did. Or who did it. Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. There's not much to go on. Although, the only thing I can think is... The time of Paul Hammer's death was 2.30pm, true? Will Powers... No one else went there. If they had, I would have seen them. I can just present the same photo. Again. Hold on. Look at this photograph one more time. This photo was taken by the camera at the gate from for the studios, correct? It's a re, Sonny. So, whenever anyone passes by here, it automatically takes a picture. And here I thought you didn't know your head from a hole in the ground. Right. Anyway. It's also true that the computer in the guard station records all security cam data. Ooh, you know. If you wanted to work at the studio, we might have an opening. That very computer printed out this photo. Know that on the back of the photo are printed the words... October 15th, 2pm, photo number 2. Even I know what... Well, even I know that means it was... taken at 2pm on October, October the 15th. Really, Sonny? Actually, I knew that too. The issue here is the bit at the end where it says, photo number 2. Photo number 2? The computer only held data for one photo on that day. Don't you think that's odd? Shouldn't this photo be photo number 1, if it really was the only photo? Oh yeah, we're causing some murmurs. Order, order. Please tell the cop what you mean by this, Mr. Wright. Actually, that's what I want to ask the witness. This evidence shows that not one, but two people went to the studio that day. Yet there is only one data, the only data for one of the photos. Who could have erased the data for the other photo? 
Only someone with access, the security lady herself. <laughs> eh? You watch your mouth with a snapper. The only person I saw that day was Will Powers. But the camera on the gate fired twice. That means two people went by. Um, well, yes. That's what it would seem to mean. Can the witness explain this to the cop? Um, ahem. I don't understand these newfangled computer things. Um, edgy boy, hell. <laughs> oh my god. Believe me, I want to, but I don't know what this means either. Hmm. <laughs> Some help you are. You're a whippersnapper too. Whoa, what the hell? Whippersnapper? Something the matter, Miss Oldbag? Ah, that's right. I just remembered something. Let me guess. Someone else passed by the gate. Someone other than the Steel Samurai. Yeah, uh, well... Yes, I suppose you could put it that way. Fuck's sake. Why does no, no witness remember everything? It's so stupid. I see. Your testimony, please. Alright, cool. Sheesh. The other person. Every day after I finish my guard duties, I have one other important job to do. I go through the photos recorded on the security computer and check them. I throw out any photos that aren't suspicious looking, you see. Come to think of it now... Oh, now I remember throwing out one photo that day. How... How great. <laughs> Miss Old Bag, this is the first I've heard of this. Well, of course, Sonny. I've only just remembered it. Right. Anyway, Mr. Wright, please begin the cross-examination. I'd say this was a turn-up for the unexpected, but I kind of...